In Washington, D.C., Congress is working on gun legislation in the wake of the Uvalde tragedy. But the question is, will anything change in Pennsylvania around gun laws? Our Harrisburg correspondent, Dennis Owens, went in search of that answer and has more from the state capitol. Uvalde is the latest town seared into the American psyche, but it won't be the last community caught in the crosshairs of a uniquely American problem. Every other country has very similar circumstances to we do in terms of mental illness, video games, family life, levels of poverty, etc. But we're the only one that has this kind of access to deadly weapons. I think we need real gun control. House Democrat Mike Schlossberg wants assault weapons like the ones used with horrific success in Uvalde banned. Why are my colleagues on the other side of the aisle saying, well, we can stop abortion with abortion bans, but we can't stop gun massacres with gun bans? With gun safety measures. It makes zero sense. There's been a lot done here in Pennsylvania already to make our schools safe. House Republican spokesman Jason Gottesman says the state has spent hundreds of millions of dollars to beef up school security, created the Safe to Save program, allowing anonymous tips about potential school violence, and has a stringent background check. And he adds, PA's constitution is armed with high-powered safeguards for gun owners. Which says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be questioned. So actually it's a stronger protection for uh, firearm rights here in Pennsylvania than the federal constitution provides. I cannot have a rocket launcher. <laughs> and most people are going to say the Second Amendment protects the right of Mike Schlossberg to have a rocket launcher. So where is the line is the question. Are you telling me that most in the Republican caucus think it's okay for an 18-year-old to go in and buy an AR-15 over the counter and walk out with it? That's okay? I'm telling you, most people in the House Republican Caucus support the Constitution. And they don't support any restrictions on the guns. Hours after Uvalde, House Democrats dramatically signed a petition to force an assault weapons ban bill onto the floor. Republicans shot it down. Okay, Mike, I'm going to put a wand in your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, what law are you passing that would have stopped Uvalde? There is zero doubt that any law that I'm talking about will not stop every tragedy, but it might stop one or two. It might save a few hundred lives, and obviously I think that's worth it. When you're talking about creating more gun laws, you're creating more laws which people can violate and ignore. But the violation to Schlossberg is a legislature ignoring that uniquely American problem. Because there are people alive right now that in a month won't be because their lives will be stolen because we didn't act. While it is true Pennsylvania has tougher background checks than most, it's also true it has not closed the so-called gun show loophole, despite numerous attempts to do so. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, WTAJ News.